Good afternoon, uh, my name is Alvis, Alvis Tukam, also known as Malik. Um, I'm doing this video today as part of my application uh, for the fellowship program of the Shadow World Foundation. Uh, the Shadow World Foundation is an organization uh, that provides a platform, an opportunity to people like you, uh, like I, uh, that are fed up about something in this world and want to do something about it. Uh, for more information about the fellowship program, uh, please uh, check on the link on this video. Uh, during the course of this video, I will use two quotes uh, from two personalities uh, that have me grow as a person and that have me become the person I am today. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank them for all the word of wisdom that I learned through them. Uh, first, I would like to start uh, with a quote, a quote about Ubuntu from, uh, from Elder Desmond Tutu. Uh, start with the quote, a person is a person to other person. Uh, none of us come to this world fully formed. Uh, we will not know how to think how to walk, how to speak, or how to behave as a human being unless we learn it from others. Uh, we need other human beings in order to be human. I am because other people are. A person is entitled to a stable community life and the first of this community is a family. End of the quote. Uh, I was not able to find better words to summarize my objective through this video. Uh, I work as a senior advisor in customer relations at Apple. I handle uh, escalation to provide an amicable, innovative, and imaginative resolution to unresolved technical and service issues arising within AppleCare, online store, retail store, and also authorized service provider. Uh, to achieve a high level of customer satisfaction, and that's the key word that Apple um, proficient in the use of soft skills, problem solving, conflict management, and negotiating skills. Uh, I was born in Cameroon, uh, Central Africa. Uh, today, I'm thankful and I'm also honored uh, to say that I'm speaking on behalf of our population from third world countries. Uh, nature has been generous to our countries uh, with abundant uh, natural resources and also a, a young population. Uh, yet, it is very sad that our population are still living in primitive conditions, have been home uh, during war or other conflict of interest uh, for wealth and for power by our greedy leaders. And our children are still dying today because of, because of a lack of food and lack of health care. We are facing a high unemployment in our countries. Um, unemployment primarily caused because of a failure of our educational system, um, large classroom, um, improper uh, tools, unqualified teaching bodies, and those are the few of the challenges that our, our educational system is facing today. Um, I have a motto in life, um, is there a problem? There has to be a solution. I mean, if there's no solution, of course, there's no problem. Through history, uh, family have been the center of humankind. Um, as a family understand that each member is unique, each member is different, each member has some strength and also has some weaknesses. Uh, yet uh, the family is able to use the complementarity burned from those differences for the general welfare of everybody. Uh, today, uh, I'd like to provide an alternative uh, resolution uh, for the development of our countries, uh, a resolution based on a fair and equitable uh, distribution of our wealth. Uh, my project is the establishment of a non-for-profit operating foundation uh, which will act as a family business uh, not only for third world country uh, but for the improvement of humankind. Children are the image of our communities and uh, thus it is very important uh, to provide the community uh, the right tools to raise those children the right way. Uh, the foundation we work hands on hand uh, with community on inclusive project um, based on the community need and also based on the community long-term aspiration. Uh, the family we thrive uh, by long-term investment uh, that are capable of providing a sustainable growth and continuously strong return while creating employment and also improving our communities. Um, for our project, 90% uh, of all employment will be allocated to the local community. Uh, benefit from those projects uh, will be used uh, to provide a free, modern, and also applied education, a free healthcare, and also feed our children. Uh, those are the primary rights of all human beings, 
and I believe we should be able to provide that to our children. And uh, also, uh, when a brother or a sister have a, a brilliant idea on how to improve our community, and uh, the family will stand behind that brother or that sister and provide support and also provide some financial assistance either to a grant or to a loan with no interest. And uh, through today, uh, we are facing a multiple, multiple ch challenge, uh, but I believe uh, the dread of the challenge, uh, the dread of the, re the reward. Uh, today, uh, we have the opportunity uh, to build our own future, a future, our, our own image, how, how, how beautiful or how, how awesome that future will be, only depends on us and no one else. President Sankara of Burkina Faso uh, once said the following words, style the quote, uh, you cannot carry out fundamental change uh, without a certain amount of madness. Uh, in this case, it comes from non-conformity, uh, the courage to turn your back to old formula, the courage to invent the future. It took the madman of yesterday for us to be able to act with extreme clarity today. I want to be one of those madmen. I must dare to invent the future. End of the quote. The fellowship program uh, will give me the opportunity to let my madness grow, uh, be able to, to reach other mad people like I, like you, so we can all get together and work together for the general well-being of our population. Uh, I also believe uh, we should establish uh, this foundation uh, so it can be a reference, a reference in terms of integration of all population are equal, and also a, ref a reference in terms of governance. Uh, I have a project of improvement of the urban community of Douala, and I will be able to start seeking a partner for that project also. Uh, I believe uh, we will only uh, develop our country uh, the day we will stop relying on, on aid and take advantage of our resources. Um, very, very thankful uh, for the time that you took from your day uh, to watch this video. And I would really appreciate if you could please uh, leave, a, leave a comment or a feedback on how we can all get together and work together as a family. And also, please uh, do not forget to share this video. Uh, my goal is to have 1 billion people watching this video. Thank you so much.